went through a lot of hardship, like a lot of violence in that school. Mary Caesar always knew she'd survive residential school so she could one day tell her story. The Cascadena artist attended Lower Post Residential School in Northern British Columbia from ages four to eight. Now an elder, her experience there has never been forgotten and is remembered through her paintings. It was four years of just terror and violence and abuse. So I'm still healing from the memories of the abuse I went through there. While a student at Lower Post, Caesar suffered horrific physical, emotional, and sexual abuse. She can still recall how one nun in particular took special pleasure in terrorizing her. It's a trauma she grapples with through her painting. She used to punch us in the face, punch us in the head on her ears. Caesar says the wounds from residential school devastated her life and she turned to alcohol to cope. After getting sober in 1991, she traveled to Vancouver where she earned a fine arts diploma. It was around that time she knew she had to tell her story. I believe that it's part of Canada's history and it should never be forgotten. And that experience, it uh, affected my life. Caesar has also reconnected to her Casca culture, a subject matter she often depicts in her art. Since becoming a serious artist, her paintings have been showcased across Canada and Europe. She says it's important to share her story with those who are unfamiliar with Canada's past. I believe in Europe and in the world to know our history here in Canada, what we suffered. Caesar wants to continue on her healing journey through her art, even if that journey is painful. It's called 215. This painting is about when they found those 215 on Mark Graves. It's why she's chosen to paint the former Canloops Indian Residential School. It's, it's just devastating and it's emotional for, for me as a survivor. While healing hasn't been easy, Caesar says art helps with the process. It's part of my healing. I'm, I've been on this healing journey for a long time. Sarah Connors, APTN National News, Whitehorse.